So the BMW service interval icons now, some of them are misinterpreted, some of them are unknown. I'm going to show you exactly what they mean today. Sorry, I was just going to say welcome back to the channel guys, welcome to another video. I just want to get straight into it. This is very informative, this could be very informative, then some of it could be interpreted a little bit better. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys exactly what these icons mean. Starting off, you're going to be using the BC button controller and the button itself. So the switch on the indicator and the BC button until you get to service info. Once you get to service info, you're going to see these icons. First things first is the oil service interval. Scrolling down, you're going to see rear brake pads, cabin microfilter, which is found in the engine bay, exhaust gas emissions indicated by the rear, well, showing that it's at the rear of the car by an exhaust. This is general roadworthy test. Now, this is not important if you're going to be keeping your car for a while and if it's not necessary. Front brake pads, brake fluid, service interval change and this is just general vehicle inspection so you may have seen a few icons that you that you may or may not have one being the exhaust emissions and one being the general vehicle mayor the roadworthy test thing i'm gonna explain to you exactly what that means one thing that is not here is the spark plug interval icon which i'll leave somewhere in the, on the video so you can check that out so starting with the oil service interval now i've just done oil service and oil change recently so i have 15,000 kilometers till march 2024 to change the oil now i don't leave oil in the car for more than a year so i always change it every 12 months at minimum or until i reach that 15,000 kg which, which i do in mostly once a year Second is rear brake pads now. Now because the brake system is more front biased, it is it wears out the front a little bit more than the rear. So that's why it has 11,000 kg to the rear. But I do know that the rears need to be replaced. So the next one is the cabin microfilter. Now that is the pollen filter for the air conditioning system. Now that can be changed once a year or once every two years, depending on how depending on the condition of it. But um, so you can see yeah, I got till May next year to change. I just did the change recently, but I am probably going to change it uh, on the next service. The next is an exhaust emissions test. Now I'm running a straight pipe on the car, so exhaust emissions really doesn't matter to me. So I'm just going to clear this error once it, once it comes up. This is roadworthy test. Now, I, as far as I know, in certain countries, you are required to take your car for a roadworthy test every year or a couple months or whatever it is. Don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure because we don't do that here in South Africa. Once, you, once your car is roadworthy, it is roadworthy until you sell it to your next owner, until the next owner has to take it for roadworthy and then they decide from there. So there's no point in taking the car for a roadworthy test if you're gonna be, if it happens to be all the time, if you're gonna be keeping the car. It's only once it's sold, for as far as I know, once, it's, once a vehicle is sold, then only the car, it goes for an emissions or a roadworthy test and that's when everything is done through paperwork and whatnot. So, what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to keep that as my license reminder. Every year we renew, as everyone should, every year we renew, we renew the license for the vehicle. So I'm going to keep that so it, just my little reminder. The next icon is front brake pad wear sensor. Now you notice it's in yellow. That's because I bypass my brake pad sensor so I don't worry about the warnings. I just change it every time it needs to be changed. The next is a brake fluid flush. Now this is overdue. I did this on purpose so you can see how easy it is to, break, to change the brake fluid on the, on the car. Now this is recommended to be done every two years because of how brake fluid really works. So yeah, I'll explain to you that in once I'm really working on that video. And the next is general vehicle inspection. Now this can be done whenever. So I just set it to 2025 so I'm, that icon doesn't ever come up. So there you have it guys, super simple. Now you understand exactly what each icon indicates. Like I mentioned, the only thing that's missing is the spark plug icon, but that's uh, self-explanatory. It's uh, 100,000 uh, kilometers or whatever it is in miles, I'll leave a conversion somewhere. So yeah, how it works, how all these work are through BMW's computer and algorithms and the way that they program it based on climate, based on driving conditions and everything such as that all programmed in your vehicle. So if you have a hot weather climate car, a hot climate car, that's how you know everything is programmed to be that specific way. If it's cold climate, then it's programmed in a certain way. So, so it's just it's just basically going off uh, of basically how uh, typical driving conditions. So, if it's a very cold, if it's a very cold climate, it know uh, BMW recommends a certain time frame to change certain into uh, certain components. If it's a hot weather, they know the components can, it can withstand a longer lifespan, something to that effect. I hope this video was informative. If it was, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I see you soon. Peace.